Internet, Eric here. Uh, well, it's been a while since I've done a video, probably over a week, that it hasn't been like two bearded losers uh, related. Uh, it's just been so fucking busy at work lately. It's, you know, end of the year inventory and just shorthanded and all this and all that crap. So I, I pretty much put YouTube on the back burner. I didn't even do a bloody Sunday last Sunday because I'd just been so tired. But I'm back. Um, with a bloody Sunday for you guys and if you don't know what that is this concept was created on YouTube and what it is is you take a death from a specific movie cartoon TV show what have you and you just make a video about it and I'm gonna do a little bit of a self promotion today um, I've mentioned two bearded losers yeah I post that stuff uh, my podcast on this channel and as well as the backup channel but I I've mentioned a couple times that I also do a podcast with my buddy Johnny called the, the schlocky horror podcast show and what that is is we've taken i guess the best of the bad you know requests or just our ideas and we review them and see if they're as bad as what they are or what they seem to be and uh this, today actually and it will be uploaded tomorrow um <laughs> do a little bit of self-promotion because my death this week is from the movie we're going to discuss today killer clowns from outer space now obviously if you have not seen this film and I'm talking about a specific death, there are spoilers, so you're watching at your own risk. Um, basic plot of this is, and um, shit, God. Alien clowns come down to some podunk town and take over, eat the people, try to fly away. It's as schlocky, perfect, and dumb as it sounds, but it's a lot of fun. I'll probably discuss it myself on this channel down the road. Um... But the death I want to talk about is uh, Chief Mooney's, and Chief Mooney's played by John Vernon. He is the, um, is he actually the dean? The asshole dean from Animal House, you know, National Lampoon's Animal House. And he's basically the same character here, but only a police officer. I always thought that maybe he, he got fired from uh, the Animal House uh, organization, you know, whatever college that is. It became a cop and then just lived out his grumpy life here. But what it is, he's, he's, you know, he's the old, he, the old guy on the force and, um, the clowns have already wreaked havoc and he's busy, at, he's busy at the, at the office answering phone calls, thinking they're prank phone calls, but they're phone calls of people reporting clowns attacking, you know, the city. And of course he basically, by the end of this whole shtick, he's letting the phones just ring and he's not answering. He's like reading the newspaper or laughing at it. And uh, there was an earlier scene where uh, he's talking to Dave, the, uh, the young upstart or whatever. And he's talking about how these are all jokes and pranks. And he says, you know, you're not going to make a dummy out of me. Which is foreshadowing into later, <laughs> one of the clowns shows up. And uh, Mooney arrests him. And it's a bunch of slapstick stuff from Mooney putting the handcuffs on the clown to putting him in the jail cell. And... <laughs> The reason why I want to talk about this death is it's more specifically the death isn't the major part that I love. It's what happens afterwards. So what's going on in the in this scene is basically Mooney slam you know slams the jail door shut. The clowns are on the other side, and uh, the, what the clowns do is they have um, different gimmicks. You know like you know you know about popcorn at the at um, at the, the circus. Popcorn ends up being alive. Um, Cotton candy at the circus. Well, they put the people in cotton candy, co cotton candy cocoons. Well, here, um, <laughs> the clown has like a little bit of a noisemaker. You know those things you put in your mouth, you blow, and then like they unravel. Well, this one was kind of neat because it was kind of a cool, um, cheap uh, effect. He blows the noisemaker or whatever it's called, and a hand reaches out and grabs Mooney by the neck. Okay, and Mooney's on the other side of the, of the jail cell, grabs him by the neck. And I don't, I don't think it breaks his neck, but it pulls his head forward and he hits the bars, okay? And then we, then scene's over. And uh, later, Dave walks in. And the clown is sitting at Mooney's desk. And remember, he said, uh, you're not going to make a dummy out of me. Well, he has Mooney on his lap. The clown has Mooney on his lap. And Mooney's got some blood coming out the sides of his mouth. And the clown is controlling uh, Mooney. At like a ventriloquist dummy and it's cool because you know the lion's on the side of a mouth he looks like a dummy talking you know like that 
So there's a conversation going on, Mooney's voice, and it's a really kind of like a bubbly, low voice, probably because, you know, the body is filled with blood. And it's a really creepy scene. I love it. I love how uh, John Vernon is basically just, you know, he's looking up at the sky or whatever. He, he did, you know, you know the, the dead eyes or whatever. And um, what is it? There's, there's some type of conversation. And eventually the clown pushes Mooney forward and he says something to Dave. He's like, what's the matter, Dave? All we want to do is kill you. So that's just a horrific, horrific scene. And then what makes this scene even better is when the, the clown pulls out his hand out of the back of Mooney. You hear this <laughs> noise. Pushes Mooney's body to the floor and, you know, thump. And then the clown lifts up his hand and it's covered, red, you know, just disgusting, wet looking. And you just hear it <laughs> try to clean it off. So that was that. That's a really cool death. And then, I guess, shtick that happens after the death. And then the scene ends where the clown is going to, I guess, do its best to kill Dave. Dave's shooting it, you know, with his revolver. And then happens to shoot it in the nose. And he figures out that if you shoot him in the nose, nose explodes. They spin around in this really cheesy but fun-looking green diamond effect and then they explode so really creepy scene you know two scenes cut together whatever um but i love love what they did especially afterwards with uh officer mooney um becoming a ventriloquist style and i just talked about killing the clown you know because it was in the same scene and it added some padding to this video so officer mooney's death and then <laughs> Uh, transformation into a ventriloquist dummy is my uh, entry into this week's Bloody Sunday. Um, thank you for watching. And give Killer Clowns from Outer Space a watch. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Um, spoilers. I'm probably going to praise it. I don't know what Johnny's going to say. Um, I'll put the link down to the Schlocky Horror Podcast Show Twitter and the Instagram so you can keep up to date with what we're doing. Um, and on the Twitter, he's got the link to where we're we're following, I mean, Anchor FM. Um, we're also on iTunes and Spotify and what have you. But links will be in the description below. Give them a listen. Give them a listen. Subscribe. All that crap. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe here. Um, click the bell. Comment below. Um, we will. Be, I will. Be, we will. I will be back trying to have more content. Um, but until after the 3rd of December, it's going to be tough because... A lot of shit going on with work and, of course, the holidays. So, yeah. Other than that, I will say cheers. Thank you for the support on both podcasts and happy Bloody Sunday.